Bye. Hi YouTube, I'm finally back with another video and I haven't uploaded in a long time because I've been busy with revision and tests. Um, so since it's Easter and hopefully after Easter I'll be uploading quite regularly onto my channel. So uh, please stay tuned and in today's video I'm going to be discussing virtualizing, um, virtualizing operating systems using VirtualBox and today I'm going to be virtualizing these in most new macbooks and imacs okay i'm in mac os now and as you can see it's not laggy at all but you can see that the resolution is a bit different the quality is a bit lower and my voice might be all might sound a bit low in quality but overall um the mac os is here and you can see that i'm virtualizing it on windows 10 and um these are the specifications of my mac os and it's running mac os here's my it's got one processor on it and I'm running about 10 gigabytes of RAM. So now I'm going to take you through some of the things macOS can do. And I'm going to open up Finder which is um, a Mac's equivalent of File Explorer. And here you can see all my applications, uh, downloads and all of the files I've got stored on this virtual machine. Now I'm going to take you through the App Store which is one of the ways you can store apps on your Mac. And here you have all sorts of apps. Um, such as editing software, games and PDF openers and there's one app uh, special which is called Garage Man and I'm going to download it soon and I'm going to try to edit my videos with it and hopefully my audio quality can be a bit better. Okay now I'm going to take you for the system preferences which can also be called settings and they're really similar to the Mac so you can make lots of customizations to your desktop or laptop such as changing the magnification size of the of the dock and you can also change the position of the dock it can be the, in the bottom the left or the right and also when you're minimizing windows you can choose between different effects and this is my favorite one uh, so when you minimize it, it kind of tucks away into the corner and this is really cool and it's one of the features which Windows doesn't have and one of the reasons I like Mac quite a lot. So um, I'm going to take you through the general tab and this is just the general settings, really boring stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this video and seen what a virtual machine is capable of doing and if you really want to see a tutorial on YouTube of how to do this, please leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll make a video as soon as possible thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy this video <laughs>